people welcome back to my channel it's your girl Marie Claire and today we are talking about water so I mean living with sickle cell disease it's very easy to get dehydrated and sickle cell and dehydration do not go together been there done that and it's not a nice thing so I will be telling you how I stay on top of my water how I keep my glow. Oh, you didn't know that? Yes. Water keeps you glowing. So I will be giving you some tips on how to, you know, keep on top of your water, stay dehydrated, the importance of drinking plenty of fluid, not just with sickle cell disease, for everyone else, how important this right here is. So why do we need so much water? Well, you see, blood is made up of five components and uh, we have the red blood cells which carries oxygen throughout the body and that's very crucial for people with sickle cell and for everyone else. Uh, we have something called white blood cells which is part of the body's immune system and these help fights off infection. So living with sickle cell is very important that you minimize your exposure to infections as much as possible because infection causes us to have a sickle cell crisis that's why you sometimes see quite a few people are being put on prophylaxis um you know to prevent them you know catching an infection we also have something called platelets which are the body's clotting system so if you remember if you have a cot um it, you know you there's something usually white that comes out. It's your body's way of fighting off you bleeding too much. So it, platelets kind of prevent you from bleeding too much. So it helps your body clot when you have a cut and things like that. So we also have something called plasma, which is a, a potion of the blood. So these are all the components of blood. So we basically need more water because water expands the volume of a plasma and therefore reduces the thickness in blood which goes ahead to reduces dehydration in red blood cells and as a result of that reduces the occurrences of crisis so we need more water so we can increase the volume of plasma in our blood so very important you see when you go, in, go into hospital, you'll see most of the times they bring you lots and lots of jocks of water, you know, and they, the, the aim is to encourage you to increase your, your blood plasma so that you have more volume of, of water in, in your red blood cells. And that really, really helps with the flow of, you know, the, the blood, the, the red blood cells in your blood vessels. So please stay on top of your water. So you see, when your body cells have lost a lot of water, it makes it difficult for, for things like um, chloride and potassium to move freely, you know, in your body. And it's very important for these ions to, to move freely because they carry water to the red blood cells. And you see, when your red blood cell, is, when you are dehydrated, when there's not enough water being carried to your red blood cells, you know, it changes the shape of the hemoglobin. Yeah, that's the red blood cell. So it changes its shape. And the last thing you do, remember, we want our, you know, we, we have sickle cell shape, you know, already. And we want to help them move in our body as much as possible. So if we don't have enough fluid, if we're not hydrated enough, these ions will not be able to carry water to the red blood cells. And as a result of that, the hemoglobin will get, its shape will get, will change to a sickle shape. That means they will get stuck in the tiny blood vessels. So they, might, they will not be able to pass through those tiny vessels, which is what causes the sickle cell crisis. So we want to avoid that as much as possible possible i mean you don't need to understand all these technicalities to be able to stay on top of your water all you need to know is that staying on top of your water keeps you out of hospital so i tend to drink a lot of water because i hate going into the hospitals because i want to be with my friends and families you know i just want to be at home if you know what i mean so 
please 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 drink as much fluid as possible it's very important and i mean having a sickle cell crisis comes with a lot of lot of problems it can lead to things like you having a stroke oh yes i remember in 2011 when i had a stroke it was not funny at all and you know i had not understood back then the importance of me staying on top of my water and as i go along i have found that that you know the more i drink the more i stay well and stay out of hospital i mean i know that as a child it can be very difficult to stay on top of their water you know and it is very crucial because usually children do tend to suffer with a lot more sickle cell crisis than adults because they don't know how to manage themselves properly so it is the responsibility of the adult or the caregiver to make sure they stay on top of their water as much as possible tell the school how important this is make sure they always have a bottle with them or some you know form of container to always keep water in them they should have regular breaks to always top up their water i remember growing up as a child in africa i mean i didn't understand the importance of me drinking water i was always sick you know and my parents um did not understand because i'm sure if they did they would have told me they would have been prompting me to drink plenty of fluid so all you parents mom and dad especially those in africa watching my channel all my lovely 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 subscribers please do make sure that your children stay on top of your water on top of their water i remember that you know when i was young i always wanted to drink things like coke all the fizzy drinks you know or the Fanta, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You can drink them, but it's it's very important to drink, you know, clear fluids. And as much as you drink, you know, all the fizzy drinks, you know, please ensure that they do drink plenty, plenty of clear fluids of water, because it will help flush the systems. You know, if in case of picked up any infection, it might wash things away. You might not even be put on prophylaxis, or might not even need an antibiotic you know so staying on top of your water for children it's very important so please make sure you keep hunting them to drink water because i want to see all those my lovely young people keeping well and staying out of hospital they want to be out there you know playing with their friends and staying in school not being in hospital because you know water could have prevented them from having a crisis so please it is very very crucial that you help them stay on top of their water i mean usually it is recommended that we drink at least eight to ten glasses of water a day but i tend to drink more because i'm so used to it i have understood the benefits it does to me so i tend to drink a lot and of course that means going to the loo quite a lot which i don't mind i would rather do that than you know get stuck in a hospital so first thing in the morning i wake up i have my water with me i have a little bottle not this big one so um when i come downstairs i drink at least half of this you know so this is a liter and you can get something similar this the hobby got me this from um, i think amazon and this this fits quite well you know so we have some times reading there get started from 8 a.m this is how much they expect you to drink so it can guide you if you're struggling or if you're new into the game of water so um, by 10 a.m you should have drank this much by you know you should have drank this much by 10 a.m and it goes all the way to 1 p.m and you can start all over again from 2 p.m all the way to 7 p.m and you can continue i mean usually i do stop at about 8 p.m because i don't want to go to bed keep and keep waking up you know going to the toilet that you know i don't want my sleep to be disrupted so yeah i do tend to drink a lot of this and most of the time everywhere i go i have a bottle of not not this because this is quite big to carry around i have something more portable so um yes you you do that drink as much as you you want to drink as much as you 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 can you know and i have noticed over the years that since i started staying on top of my water 
I have noticed a change in my skin tone. I glow so much. I mean, I don't take anything. Usually I'm not a big makeup fan, but I get complimented a lot about my skin. Well, today I've got makeup on. Oh, did I mention your girl has got some lashes, people? You know, I my friend came around and tried me some lashes. You know, I thought I should look a bit glamorous today because I feel it. So I've got some eyelashes. I had to put my glasses on because I can't I can't see without them. So I kept I keep blinking, but I'm used to it now. It's not too bad. So I think I'm getting, you know, a bit ahead of myself and I'm loving it. Can you tell? Does it look nice? Does it look nice? Yeah. So drinking loads of water, you know, keeps my glow. And, you know, usually research has shown that, you know, the more water you, you drink, the more toxins you wash out of your system. So we want to wash out all the toxins and as much as possible because we want to keep glowing, don't we? So please, guys. Stay on top of your water. So how do we know that, you know, we, we are dehydrated or we're getting dehydrated? Usually, you know, you shouldn't feel thirsty before going to grab a, a drink of water. And to, to know that you're dehydrated, you will see that your, your urine is a bit cloudy, is darker in color and it's got a very strong smell. We don't want that. We want our urine to be as clear as possible. And you will feel dizzy. You will feel lightheaded. You will feel very tired. And these are some of the signs that you are um, dehydrated. So when you feel these things, try to drink plenty of water. I remember traveling recently from abroad and at the airport, I was feeling very funny lightheaded you know very faint i wasn't sure what was going on so um i just grabbed instantly that's the first thing i always do before even going for things like painkillers you know instantly i just grabbed some water and drank quite a lot of it and within about 10 minutes i started feeling different yes that's how quick it can take for you to feel different so from experience i have noticed that every time i've had some of these symptoms you know, the moment I start drinking water as soon as I feel a difference, there's quite a number of times that I have gone into a crisis. You know, if I, have, um, I usually have start having a crisis on my left hand. And, you know, if it doesn't subside as soon as, you know, it moves to my legs, to my left leg and then to the rest of my body. So when I start feeling that I'm having a, 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 a bit of discomfort in my left hand, you know, I grab my water and I start drinking so much. I start drinking plenty and I notice the change very quickly. So very, very often I, you know, not tend not to take, you know, painkillers because the water has sent the sickle cell crisis away, you know, so uh, that has just become a second nature to me. I'm always on top of it. The slightest pain, the slightest discomfort, I just drink water. So m some of my friends must have noticed that whenever I go out, I always, always drink my water first before anything. So and this is a good practice for you to adapt because you find that life is much easier and much less stressful when you stay on top of your water. On top of your water. So please keep hydrated. And usually for those who don't like to drink water, I mean, there's quite a few people that, you know, water is not their thing, but they, they need to, to, to keep hydrated. So you could add things like, you know, lemon or fruit. You could, you could infuse it with whatever you prefer. You could infuse, infuse it with some, some um, mint. You know, I usually put a drop, a, a leaf of mint in my water and it's, it's so refreshing. You could, you could supplement thing with, with things like, you know, smoothies and fruit juices and teas, you know, whatever you fancy. I mean, I tend to find that, you know, things like fizzy drinks, tend to send me into a crisis. So whatever you are comfortable with, it took me a long time to realize that every time I drank um, um, a, a can of Coca-Cola, I would go into a, a sickle cell crisis. So I tend to avoid 
fizzy drinks. Luckily, I don't like them as much as I do love water. As I do love water. So uh, whatever you fancy, whatever you're comfortable with, keep drinking. Things like coffee. I know, you know, quite a few people I've come across that have sickle cell do like their coffee. But bear in mind that um, caffeine makes you dehydrated. So if you love your coffee so much, please always try to drink water after having a coffee. So you want to stay on top of it. You don't want to get into a crisis after drinking coffee. So guys, drink whatever that makes you happy, whatever you are comfortable with. So if you find yourself in hospital, you know, you haven't been able to drink as much as you would have loved to and you get into a, a sickle cell crisis. I mean, usually a sickle cell crisis comes on as a result of, you know, dehydration or infection. You know, infection, of course, usually comes along as, a, you know, a result of us not drinking plenty of fluid. So um, you will get admitted and what you find is that, well, normally what happens to me is that I get given an IV fluid and this fluid usually is either dextrose or saline and this will get you instantly hydrated. So what happens is you might get a bag or two just to keep you, you know, keep your body going and then they will administer maybe pain um medication to get the pain under control and then the, uh, the advice is always always to keep drinking water so I mean usually you find that you know for me when when I'm in a crisis I can't drink as much as I would love to because you know I feel so sick when I'm in a crisis and I, I tend to avoid getting to that stage so that's why I always drink, first thing in the morning I get up, I drink my water. I don't even want to think about me going to the hospital to be giving IV fluid. I don't want to get to that stage. I just want to keep hydrated and keep glowing. So please guys, stay on top of your, on top of your water. Sickle cell and dehydration do not go together. So if you want to keep living your best life, you have to stay on top of your fluids because this is our life. Water is our life. Stay hydrated. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe like and share and comment and tell me what tips you've got what you know strategies you're doing to keep hydrated you know and make your water or fluid or whatever you drink more interesting thank you mm -hmm.